Trinity again. So Sunday we did them again. Say call all your friends. So 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 pretty, uh, so pretty, uh, so my beauty, uh, said it's my duty, uh, to make you happy, uh, it's so pretty, mm, so pretty, uh, pretty, 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 sweet sir, uh, I like she when she whine and go down, uh, baby I don't wanna let you go, uh, anything you do I wanna follow you, Instagram, Snapchat, there with you, uh, people not see you, want to put it all, all in you, uh, the summertime come, come, come So now we have a little fun, fun, fun Drink a little, little more rum, rum, rum Girl I want to make you come, come, come Sitting on the khaki and go dum, dum, dum Now we have a little sun, sun, sun Say fill up the warm, warm, warm Now we have a little one, one, one So pretty, uh, so pretty uh, So my beauty, uh, said it's my duty uh, To make you happy, uh, Yo, yo, this is Eddie Charles out of the a team band, soca artist, soca parang artist. Welcome to Artist Spotlight with the team band. We interview the hottest upcoming artists in the industry. Good. <coughs> Where we give them a chance to interact with us and you, our fans. The a team band is not about music, it's also about nurturing talent. So tonight, uh, it's our ninth episode, and I am interviewing. Trinity Gonzales, our <laughs> at the spotlight tonight. <laughs> Trinity, what's up, my brother? I good. Trinity again at the spotlight again. Call all your friends, tell all your friends, call all your friends. I'm excited to be what? here, man. What's up, my brother? Everything good? Everything good? I'm doing good, you know. Still breathing in this COVID right. pandemic, so life is good. I have no complaints. Right, right. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, Trinity, we'll have some questions for you. And if you want, you could, uh, you know, ask me some questions, you know, you know. Both okay. of us could interact with one another. Definitely. All right. So, what I would like to ask, um, what first get you into music? Into music, to be honest, is like, I don't remember when I wasn't singing. Ever since I was a child, I just always remember singing. Singing is just always what I did. I remember. Does we know me from a young age? I cannot right. remember when I wasn't singing, you know, so that's just the way you crumble, I guess. <laughs> you know? it, just, it just works. I mean, I was, I guess what really influenced me, honestly, was the first time I saw being asked with you, you know, me and Michael Jackson perform. You know, I mean, right. that was one of my greatest influencers when I saw Marshall perform Big Truck the first time in um, Soka mm -hmm. Mana. You know, I was like, yeah, boy, I need to get into this Soka thing, boy, you know, so it was like, you know, then you had the cartels. You know, I'm a, I'm a West Indian, so I love reggae, I love Spanish music, I love soca music most of all. But I was right. basically grew up singing R&B music. You understand know what I'm saying? I grew up singing okay. R&B. Yeah. Okay. So how would you um describe the type of music that you sing? How will you describe it? Well, personally, I don't like to put myself in a box. You know, what I mean, I just love music. It doesn't matter if it's reggae, Spanish, hip hop, R&B. Me being right. Trinidadian, I love soca, but if I had a choice to sing music or what I call my music, I will call my type of music, I will more classify it as Afro soca, if that's the thing. Right. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, well, I saw you um you, you did a single last year. Yeah. Right. Because I always on YouTube, always looking up on new artists and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So definitely. I saw you had a single uh, Afro, is that like, is like Afro soca? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, well, basically, I did, I've did. i been kind of, because to me, you know what I mean, so, soca music is maturing, so I try to find other things to talk about other than jump on wave, you know what I'm saying? And to me, the whole Afro wave is kind of like very similar to soca, so I use it as an opportunity to fuse the soca with yeah. um, the Afro beat, so then I, I could 
still keep it, you know what I mean, popular music as far as soca, but I can still talk about other things like love and, you know, other stuff like that. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, that's nice, that's nice. Um, so could you give me some places where you have been performing, like, you know? Ah, perform all over, man. You know, I've definitely I've <laughs> lived in the U.S. for a while now. I can't remember where right. I have performed. I've performed so many places from Miami, Trinidad, Toronto, Boston, you name it. You know, we, we travel a lot. I I right. reach out a lot of like all well, day, but most of the time, I, most of the time I'm opening for men like you, and I'm pretty sure I've opened for you a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 you are based in so you are based in New York right now. Yes, definitely. Oh, and what part of Trini are you from? Well, I was I grew up in in you know I mean Diego Martin, Pitti Valley area. My grandparents right. lived in Diego Martin, but I was from Simeon Road. You know I mean I live right down. Right around the corner from this one here, me and she grew up like together. Some of my longest friends, you know. So I grew up in Sparrow Drive, you know. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. So, so, so your base, base, so your base, basically, right now in New York. Yes, you know, I mean, because I have a son, you know, me, my son's been living here, so I'm single parent father. So, right, right. I mean, that's kind of like I tell everybody, my most important priority and my first priority is always my son everything yeah. else comes, comes after you know so that's just the way it works yeah okay nice 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 because i i've been seeing you performing in um a lot of places you know that um from since in the 90s you were still like what how old it was like what i was uh i was like and was like, that like nine, nine, 2000 anywhere around there I didn't think I started to sing soca around that time. I think that time I was still singing like R and B and stuff. I think I really got into the soca seriously like in two thousand and seven. That's when I think I got into it. Oh, two thousand and seven. But I but I used to always see her around in Brooklyn coming like most of the fets and them like um uh, yeah, because I see her in the way and the arc and those places. I know that's what I'm saying. I was always into the soca, but when I really right. started to take it seriously, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. Two thousand and seven when I really say you know what, let me go and stick my foot in it, you know what I'm saying? But before that I was basically just jamming. I had a band, so that's what you probably yeah, remember. What I'm saying I because I know technical. because I know you was always into it, you know. So that's what I'm saying. I know you from since tra- traveling yeah. from from since the nineties. Ninety seven. Yes, right. <laughs> so from ninety seven, I used to sing with Technique Band. So that's how <laughs> you basically knew me. And I back up a lot of all year and open a lot of stages. That's what I'm saying. So that's how I basically right. got familiarized. And when I was like, you know what? Instead of me singing all these cover songs, let me start to basically, you know, I mean, do my own, my own the thing. Originals. Yes, yeah. So I've been, you're right. I've been in singing the soca for since in the nineties, but I really yeah, started- the 90s, yeah, because we 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 did like like um like in um New New Jersey was there in New Jersey yeah. Carnival. Yes, I remember I when they see by the arc. <laughs> yes, you know, I mean, I remember open for Marshall too in in um Jersey and Prudential Center one time to open for Marshall and Prudential Center. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm saying, because I know Trinity from, from, from baby. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. Who is that man? I ain't gonna lie to you, Eddie. I don't know if you know, you remember me well, but you always guided me. I remember one time you tell me, I was like, Dan, you have it. Just, you know, don't give up on this suka thing. It's a fight. You had a love yeah, it. You yeah, know yeah. It's true. It's, this is like I tell, I tell people all the time. When you do soca, you do get in this Caribbean music, you have to love it more yeah. than anything else. Because exactly. the money is not really in it, you know what I'm saying? In the beginning, unless it really busts. So just to basically bust through, you really have to. So say anybody who's singing soca, you have to commend them because it's a love and you put a lot of into it and you never really may get it back. So when I say I'm singing soca, I just sing Caribbean music, I do it other than no other reason because I love it. Just because I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love my culture, <laughs> I want to support my culture, I want to see soca music go far. So I can't help it. You have to keep, you have to keep knocking that door and you know, the door will open one day. I know, I ain't worried about that, man. What, it's, it's like Tupac saying, you, know, you, could, you could beg first, but after a while, you're coming there and kick it on. So I'm looking for something to come and kick it on. And next thing I'm coming, I'm coming with my gun busting, and we had to take everything because, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm not too long. You think I'll kick yeah, on yeah. right now? <laughs> because when, when, when I came in the music industry, you know, from, um, from primary school, um, second Calypso, into junior sec, into comprehensive, and, you know, by just keep knocking at door, knocking at door. And my first break I get was the traffic. Mm. Yes, true. Yes, you're right. Know? But I but I I I I I never give up. Nah, you can't give up like I say if you never give up, you never lost, you know. Like they say, no. every year just keep no. getting better. That's all yeah, I well, no, well, some, 
sometimes people just get discouraged. You know, sometimes your music ain't playing. You know, you're spending your money and and and, and end up playing your music. You're not getting that 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 love. So you so, so you decide to give up. With with me is is to me. I don't think I could ever give up. I just look at it as far as like. I'm very grateful to be still here because I know a yeah. lot of people haven't even done it. I'm also fortunate enough that I kind of feel fortunate that I didn't bust in a way because a lot of people mm -hmm. bust and then they fall off. So I'm still kind of relevant, but you know, still making waves, people still relevant to me and I can still put out good music. And that's the thing I'm most, like, I'm most appreciative is that I really felt over the years I've grown and I'm yeah. keep and I continue to, to grow. And I think as long as you're growing, you have nothing to complain about. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm growing every year. And I believe as long as I keep growing, that somebody will, will recognize and be like, damn, he's really grown over these couple, yes. couple of years mm -hmm. and really appreciate what I've grown into. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so um, so um, if you want to do like a collab locally and internationally, who's the artist that you think you want to collab with, that you want to collab with? Collab? Yes, yeah. That's a hard question. <laughs> if I could collab with anybody, I mean... Well, well locally and internationally. In, well, this is going to get me in real trouble, eh? I know Why? everybody would have jumped on Marshall back, right? Because, you know, Marshall is the big boss. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That is, that, is, that is the boss. And this may right. seem like a very weird answer when I answer it. But if I could do a song with anybody from Trinidad, it probably would be right. Jelani. Being honest with you. Who, who Jelani? Jelani. Oh, oh, Jelano. Okay. Yes. The reason right. why is because I'm, I really like lyrical content. You know what I mean? Right. I, I believe he's a great lyrical writer. And you know mm -hmm. what I mean? This whole... You know, this whole reggae kind of thing that's taken off, I think it's healthy for Trinidad and for the culture. And right. it's more easy for me to get into because it's, you know what I mean? I, I have a more, you know what I mean? Swanky kind of voice. Now it's not really, I don't have really got a jump on wine voice. You know what I'm right. saying? So I've been touching more in the, in the Trini bad. You know what I'm saying? I have a Trini bad song come up. And I really believe that, uh, I mean, Jalan is one of my favorite Trini Bad reggae artist, you know what I mean? I listen to all his records. So I just, you know what I mean? Just, just because I'm a little fan of his, you know what I mean? And I respect what he's done. But other than that, big up to everybody. I mean, to <laughs> Swanee, to all the Trini artists, to, to Pretty, to yeah. you name it, all of them. I really love all of them. And I love to do a song with any one of them, just, just to be honest. But if I could pick right. one to do a song with right now, just because of the mode I'm in, I would choose Jelano just because that's the type of music I'm kind of doing right now. And you know, the right. whole COVID-19 has really put a kind of downer on the soccer industry because the right. soccer industry is a jump and party and they can't jump and party right now. So right now, that yes, music yes. <laughs> has a little bit more longevity in it now. And I would definitely mm -hmm. think that you will start seeing a lot more Trini artists singing reggae music because it's, uh, like I said, Trinidad, I don't know if you know, realize, but where I live in New York, soca, the, the Trini bad music has really taken over the reggae industry. We don't even listen to the new reggae songs like that anymore. We basically, right. like, most of the people up here, when they find out that these Trini bad songs are Trinidad and artists, they're shocked. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Most of them think they're yeah. Jamaicans. And being honest with you, like, Trinidad has really taken over the reggae industry. And I don't even think Trinidadians even realize how much we've taken it over. Like Jamaica, I would say Jamaica second place when it comes to right. reggae music. Trinidad is really taking over the dance or scene up here, at least in New York. Everybody listening to Trinidad. Nobody in pumping, no new reggae is no it's Trinidad to the world. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. And, 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 and internationally. Internationally? Yeah. Hmm, that would be a good one. Let me see if I could do one internationally. I'll probably do one with Justin Bieber because he's doing all the, the reggae kind of pop music that I believe the Caribbean should be doing, this kind of reggae kind of pop. And I just want to do it just to do it better than him because we, right. we Caribbeans, they stealing our music and they watering it down. So I hmm. want to do it to him to show him how to do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> 
sure he has a tennis <laughs> competition. But yeah, no, no, just, just Justin Bieber, just, just because he, he's definitely, mm-hmm. I will give him that because he has a great following and I really love what he's doing with the reggae music and I wish that the Caribbean will take forefront instead of the Ed Sharans and stuff, taking that culture and that music that I would like to be the forefront of, you know what I'm saying? I believe that music is our music, but the whole West, the whole Caribbean community is not jumping on it. For some reason, we're too one-minded, stuck in our deep culture. We need to think a little bit broader. And that's what I read that they have done. They have taken the best of our music and made it broader. And we should have done it first. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's definitely Caribbean music. You listen to it, it's soca, it's reggae, it's, it's everything. They just made it very broad. You know what I'm saying? Talk about yeah. love and, you know, stuff like that. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> so, so if you want to open for, for 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 an artist, you know, you was the you you was the opening act for, for an artist. Who's the artist that you're gonna be opening for? You you think that you wanna you 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 wanna open for? I don't mind. I don't call no names. Put me on that stage and I'm there. <laughs> now you can call him. You can call him. Is it is a love or is a love? If you want to open for Marshall, if you want to open for Iowa, if you want to open for Kess, well, if you want to open for Swanee, if you want to open for someone, why you go to open? You go to open to get eyes on you. So you want the most eyes on you. You have to go behind Marshall. You know what I mean? Marshall already has to go in. You can't do nothing. No, you can't do nothing. No, you can't do nothing. Feelings at all. Nobody, no, 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 nobody got no, no feeling because if they want to open for Marshall Monday, that is a big yeah. experience for you. You understand? Of course. You know what I mean? Of course. That's going to be our best that, look. That is your choice. That, that is what you feel <laughs> in your heart. You can't stop that. <laughs> no, but I be honest with you about making positive moves. It's like, as a, as, yeah, a, yeah. as a maths and numbers person, if I'd be like, okay, if I want to open for anybody, who could give me the most publicity? I'd go Marshall. If I could do a song with yeah. anybody, who could give me the most publicity? Justin Bieber. I just... It's right. just numbers. You remember my brain is thick now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what that's what you're supposed to think, you know. <laughs> yeah, who can give you the Who can give you the most exposure? Exactly. That's how I think. So that's that's why I call yeah. him two names. You know what I mean? But Jelani was just I call him based on you know just because his I love his music. You know what I mean? And I love you know what I mean. Big up Swan. He can say, oh, I don't want to take nothing from none of those guys. You know what I mean? Even from the right. soccer. I know some of them might get jealous and be like, wait, boy, that man, buddy, we're going to have to talk to you with you a long time. But no, come on. Nah, because, uh, because of the soccer artists, the reggae artists, and them even getting a blight too, you know what I'm saying? It's all one love. I, I love all the artists, I respect all the artists, and I just love to, you know, when you have a Trini show, you know I always did. Always did in VIP, trying, yeah, yeah. trying mm-hmm. to meet all you and mingle and, you know, make sure I'm familiar so you don't forget my face. <laughs> <laughs> But um, but um, Trinity, you 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 have any problem, you know, um, um, to go and sing after any big artist? Like, could you sing after Marshall or could you sing after Iowa? Could you sing after Kess? How 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 you feel about that? I mean, personally, I feel I could sing after <laughs> any one of them except Marshall. <laughs> why? But why? But why? But why? 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 <laughs> Not that. All right, put it like this. <laughs> Me, I have to be, you have, you have to be honest, right? Marshall have a crazy following and his power. You know what I'm talking about. Marshall have that power set. You right. know what I mean? I'm not that familiar. People don't really know my songs. They're not that familiar. So I don't want to come on after Marshall and dead the crowd. I want the party going to. I just treat it too, you know. I, could be, I just think about this. If a man come and say, I don't know who is this, what song is this? So you know what I mean? I have to think. You have, you have to think. So go on before yeah. them big art. Acts make sense, but you can't go after a big act. Everybody started to walk. Why did you know? By the time Marshall say he done, everybody started to walk on the party. <laughs> no, but, no, no, but if you, but if you believe in yourself, right? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, what do you, 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 you believe in? Choice. You can go after any act, man. I have all the faith in myself, but I think it's smart. You gotta be smart. That is like saying, you know, you gotta go in after 50 cents. No, you mean go after 50 cents. You gotta go before it. No, but no, 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 but that's the position the promoter put you. Well, if you put me there, I'd go, I'd go and put my best foot forward. <laughs> <Really? laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But you need to use my say that it's gonna be hard to go after Marsha because my song is not power songs. You know, right, right. I, can't, I can't go with my with my slow groovy RB after Marsha and come and jam down the place and rock down the place and the stage mash up. I walk in cracks. I don't walk slow. <laughs> 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 All right. 
right, all right. That, 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 that's, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I but, um, if, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, if you could change, right, anything, if you could change anything in the industry, what would it be? Ah, that is a good one. Okay, I will. I feel that the industry it is all right. I can tell you what happened. I don't know what happened in Trinidad, but up here is like it's no. I'm gonna tell you. The, okay, boom. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna say it and I'm gonna say it clear. And I hope somebody have a note and a book because why you going to say people can make real money for why you going to say right now. Soca music is the only music industry in the world where we push parties and not artists right i'm gonna give an example any other record industry or club or anybody who's into business i want to make a lot of money right soca music is backwards and i had this talk with a lot of people we are so backwards this is what we do we invest all these monies and pick up a date and throw a party and we right. try to find an artist to sell out this party. When this party is done, all this investment we make on this date is over. Right? Now, yeah. if the soca industry and we had like a label and we push our artists, the same money put into this party, you choose an artist, you have a release date, and you put the same effort behind that album, put out the album. When this album comes out now, you could go anywhere across the world and throw parties. Instead of putting all the money behind one party, and yeah. then when the party done, you have to do over and over. And then you have to find a next artist. So what, is, so what the rest of the world is do, Jamaicans, just they, they push artists and put money behind them. Right. We don't do that. We put money behind parties and find right. an artist to perform on it. It is right. backwards. That's why you find you have all these one-hit wonders and nobody's actually going anywhere except Marshall because he's the person that's actually pushing his album. And right. control his own parties. You know what I'm saying? He yeah, has a, yeah. a bigger understanding. So that's everybody always trying to push a party. If Trinidad and the Caribbean realize that, listen to me, we need to form a label, a real label, not these half ring me down deals and they get together and pick a concept and you and you and you, and you put it together and you have a tour mm -hmm. date and stuff like that. It will make a lot more sense because when you have the album and when these songs get big, you could go all over the world and perform. Instead of hoping right. that one song get big from a carnival and then next year to do the same shit again, it's like, you know what I mean? We running down, they're pushing soca man up to put big parties on it. And that's all the artist's music is pushed through a party. So they're having a party, soca man up, and they're playing the music. And if you happen to get your music, you're playing. They never push the artists when they're pushing the party. Yeah. It's the most backwards and the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. This Trinidad get together, or this whole soca music get together. Listen to me. Let's push artists, let's put people, all this money they want to put behind a party, put it behind an artist and a project. You yes, know? yes. You say you're going to put out six songs, you're going to put out a couple of videos, and you will make it around the world. And you can have this artist consistently. But the reason why there's no consistent artist and you're looking for the big song is because they're just looking for the biggest song to jump up to. And then the, the ones who's great, fortune cracks. And they have all this chota, 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 chota. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, well, I think, well, I think few of the artists are doing it right now, like Iowa, Kess, Patrice, um, Pretty, a lot of them are doing their own concerts and things now. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah. saying, though, but they're still pushing, because again, they're still backwards. Yeah. They're pushing concerts yeah. and not an album or artist, they're pushing a concert, you know something? they still, can you look at it, they're still backwards. It's still right, backwards. Right, okay. <laughs> you understand where I'm coming from? It doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Look at any record industry in the world. You see anybody else doing what your nanas do? Hmm. Look at, look at, look, 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 look at how Afro beats gonna fly over we head. Because they're very structured and operate like a record label and they're not chasing on parties. Right. And we don't just chase them. Everything is a party. Promote to get a party. Party, party, parties. Never, there's no business structure beyond the party. So once the party done, you have to start all over from scratch. A new date, a new player, a new artist, and your next party again. Unlike right. if you promote this artist and, it's, and you play like this, if you have a, a, a Eddie Charles Rock, Rock Sean, example. That is the name right. of your album. You put money behind it. Now this album gets big. Now when album gets big, you have the Eddie Charles Rock Sean 
in the in New York. And there's a party, right. Eddie Chad Rock, Sean in Jersey. Eddie Chad Rock yeah. is the same party, but except, you know what I'm saying? Except now you could take this concept and go all over America. You could play two of dates with one with one promotion. What, so yeah. you have two of dates, except you do one, you do all these things and you have one one date. You know what I'm saying? Is you, you like, get yeah. more pay investment of the promotion. So when you're not promoting parties, is it is the most ineffective way for your investment because once the date is done. The money done. Hmm. There's no residual income unless you go and throw a next party. Unlike if you be like, okay, here what? You're going to have the Eddie Charles album. We're doing 12 city tours. You know what 12 city means? 12 party. Understanding yeah. the logistics of it is way more money and more longevity in it. Yeah. yeah. Do the same thing instead of doing one party, do 12 party now in 12 different states. Hmm. So, can you doing that? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, trust that should be good. Me, somebody that have real money and they will have this is carnival and it will be a tour across America the same way they have um we, what we call it um that that party now that party they is having um Atlantic City we call it again Moksha no Moksha but next big party they they are they do. It's be everywhere across the world, man. Uh-huh. It's like a big party that's have every everywhere every year they have somebody else. Oh, right, God. right. Okay, you know, okay. Every year but every year they have somebody else who uh, uh, perform. What's right. so okay. something like that and it's taking on tour? A whole concept and take it on tour. So one event happening twelve different places across America or across England. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to start the engine over every single time and put money. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, 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 what's your next move for 2020, Trinity? What's your next step? Stay inside and stay away from COVID. <laughs> <laughs> and and try to stay away from the police. Because I'm uh-huh. with <laughs> <laughs> Now, all jokes aside, um, I just been basically getting because I want to do a lot this year, so I'm basically getting a lot of equipment together. I just been getting everything you need to do music, videos, production, you know what I mean? So right. I just been getting, I'm tired of always sticking, sticking my hand in my pocket when I want to do something. So I basically just been investing into myself to get the equipment that I need to do so I can just basically do unlimited amount of production with this um video recording or studio time you know what i'm saying so right. this year has been really just investing into so no matter what i have to do i can do it to the highest quality where it's a high budget music video you know what i mean stuff like that so i'm really making the investment this year into music videos so for the 2020 2021 you're gonna see like a shit ton of music videos high quality i'm basically teaching and schooling myself you know so look forward right. to that so you did a so you did a music video for the Afro uh, soccer that you did in in what was last year? Yeah, I did it. You did a music video for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw it too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was my first time yeah. behind the camera and everything. You know. <laughs> I right. was, so, <laughs> so you have to try. <laughs> I think it was our best try. <laughs> <don't> <laughs> well, our best try. <laughs> was our best try. <laughs> <laughs> I have a well, question well, for you though. Uh-huh. As you be a little bit more experienced in the game, for somebody who is in my situation, who you think has been, you know, here chucking along, what advice you would give me to, you know what I mean, to put a little, you know, rocket fuel in the tank? <laughs> well, 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 as I said to you earlier on, you gotta keep knocking that door. You know, your break will come. Go don't sleep. Respect that. You understand? Know, and, and would you think, and as far as another question for you, as a as an artist or as artists, new upcoming artists these days, what do you think is the number one mistakes that most artists make? Upcoming artists, from you being a a, 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 a elder in the game. Okay. Um. Number one, the production. Right. Number two, the marketing. Is your marketing strategy? Be a, be a 
that 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 works it works it works take take one dollar because i learned a little thing um in 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 the 90s from someone um some someone told me that um why you think coca-cola never stop advertising right you know why they said a baby is born every minute right we don't get we don't grow a certain age already, so so we know about coca-cola so what, what about the young ones like that coming up mm. you don't know about coca-cola so if you don't advertise and promote how will they know about coca-cola touching on that they said on the same topic what would you think would be the best way to market and promote in this 2020 quarantine COVID-19 pandemic because that has been a little bit difficult because you know what I'm saying usually especially us you know me I usually get to open for a lot of these events you know me eat a little small cheese but now there's not really much you could do as far as like promoting or getting in front of the crowd you're basically relying a lot more on this whole social media so what would be your advice to say for example to me to help me market and promote especially in this whole difficult time what would you do if you was in our shoes well 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 for right now it could only be social media mm -hmm. you know for right now because we can't have no crowd gatherings we can't have nothing big you know you, you understand what i'm saying yeah. so for right now it's only social media like the facebook the instagram you know anything that could get you out there and you post know? and post or pre-covid 19 what would be your advice the best way to to market Post or pre COVID 19, what, what, what would you be advised to someone who's huh. getting back into the scene after this is over? What would be your, 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 your moves? Well, boy, <laughs> it's a difficult question. question. Yeah, 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 that's a difficult question, you know, because as I, as I say, we're we watching this whole COVID 19 thing, it's a bit shaky, you know, it's a little challenging, you understand? But mm -hmm. boy, we just had to try our best to hope that this whole thing is over. And you know we back and running. <laughs> we just have to pray. <laughs> we just have to pray. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Okay, Trinity. Well, I know using my only best voice with the sweet voice, the sugar okay. voice. <laughs> so I know you're gonna some vocals for the ladies, and I mean that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Let me do it now. Hold on. You can hear? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said I'll say it before you. Baby, I had a V-E-Y-O-U Girl, no matter what they say, it's true I do Girl, it should be mine hey. From the way that you turn and you twist and you roll up, it's fine Boy, from the way you design, I can tell that you're one of a kind So I need you right there by my side Only you can make me feel right Baby, I don't care what they say when it's so a play, you first to come push back on me. With a wine so sweet, girl, you know you hypnotize me. I'm falling in love with your body. Baby, push and give it to me. Love you way you bring it on me. So come, let me break it down to the floor. Wine and give me some more. Turn it round for me, roll it up for me, spin it down. Let me see everything that you need. You go get before you leave. I ain't come here to tease, I come here to please relax on me. I want you to come, 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 come. I want you to come, 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 come on over. Put your legs on my shoulder. Uh, oh, baby, don't want no other, don't want no other. I uh, will keep you on my mind. Hey, when I'm hustling on you, I got my nine to five. I'm thinking about that bumper, thinking about that wine. Got to spend my money and time to keep your girl by my side. Lady, when I fly back home, we going out together, me and you alone. We winding down in a corner, down to the bone. Yeah, when the fat and girl, we go home. Take you home, girl, and make you moan. Yeah, tonight we not going home. <laughs> so come and keep me down to the Wine and give me some more. Spin it wrong for me, turn it down for me, drop it down. Let me see everything that you need. You're gonna get before you leave. I ain't come here to tease, relax, and be. Oh, keep you on my mind. 
baby. Keep it on my mind. Oh, yeah. Morning, rain, noon, and shine. Girl, you're gonna be mine. Want you in my life. Oh, so girl, you know it's true. Ooh. I said I'll say it before you. Baby, you know I L O E V E Y O U. No matter what they say, it's true. I do, yeah. So give me bumpa, bumpa, bumpa. Want to kiss your body and wine it all over. Right on me, girl. Party done, girl. I just want one to just come right on over. Uh, so, me say, give it all to me. Anything you want, you know, I give it all to me. Anything you need, you want. Hey, oh, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I give you a waistline if you give me a waistline. I give you a waistline if you give me a waistline. I give you a waistline morning, noon, and night. Mm, so give it, give it all to me, baby. I hope you never leave when the party done. There we have some fun, so baby. Uh, I wanna make it just come, 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 come. I want you to come, 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 come on over. Put your legs on my shoulder. Oh, baby. Uh, don't want no other. Don't want no one, 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 no Shout out to, of course, Freddie Harris, the third, who produced that song. You know, I had a big up, you producer, you don't big them up. When they do the music, yeah. they're just sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I just want to big up everybody who um, ever supported me, you know what I mean, and who, who's always been there for me. I want to call no names, so I just have to call names, you forget. You know what I mean? But just big up everybody who loves Soka, and just, I just want to leave a message to everybody. Um, Think about... Your thoughts create what you want. So I believe in the law of attraction. I practice it my life. So yeah. what you think about, you bring about. So think positive, be positive. You know what I mean? Don't let your environment basically control what you think. Let what you think change your environment. So always think positive thoughts. Health is strength. You know what I mean? Finances, spiritual, um, educational is one of the best things you could do. Always try to educate yourself every single day. Never stop learning and, you know I mean? Just be grateful. Even if you're living in a shithole or living in a mansion, be grateful. You're, you're, you're breathing and up to tomorrow, tomorrow is the next day. Yeah, yeah, you have life. You have life. You know what I'm saying? So, do ever complain. Somebody have it worse than you. That's why exactly. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Well, Trinity, I think that's the time we got for today. You know, Eddie Charles and the A-Team would like to thank you Thank everyone for tuning in, tuning in on IG and Facebook. You know, RT Spotlight with Trinity. Trinity, good job, man. You know, hope that I can come to New York and we get singing this thing on the same show. Eddie I Charles know. and the 18 band and you, Trinity, on the same stage too. Definitely. <laughs> but I say, though, you reach me, you can check me out on all social media platforms. It's Trinity Official. T R I N I T Y O F F I C I A L, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all social media platforms is Trinity Official. And thank you, Desiree. Your mic is on mute for <laughs> making me a part of this. And uh, Eddie Charles, thank you once again for doing this, bro. I really appreciate you. You've been uh, a godfather to me in this whole music business for so long, and I'll continue yes, to. Man, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I can always depend on you and call you for, you know, and for, for advice. So thank you for doing this for me today. I appreciate it. Yes, man. And Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. A team, Trinity, Trinidad, thank you for having me. <laughs> boom, boom. A team forever. Trinity again. Call all your friends. Call all your friends. RT Spotlight again. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. Come on. Cast up with. Cast up with. I say go and make people fat. Make girl go and I tell she I will go. Some girl almost dead. All in cause I'm fat. Yes, this thing could be real nice. This fat could be real nice. Can't buy my ticket. What we say? We all might be done. Realize we at the bed. What we say? What we say? We have to get deep. You know the thing that we said me.
Here, not to sing me. What are we going? We want to go big, big for party. The music take over me. I want to jump up. Hold it, hold it. I want to wind up. Hold it, hold it. I want to go big, big for party. The music take over me. I want to jump up. Hold it, hold it. I want to wind up. Hold it. I want to get real high and real tight. Just yes, up we go. They were talking for the best college one. This is what, right here we do the best college one, right? Then we have to do. You have to spread open your hand. Cock out your bottom. You ready? 18. One, two. One, two, three, four. Hey! You have to spread out your hand, man. Spread out your hand. Let me go. Hey! Back and out, back and out, you back and out, stand. Let me go, let me go. 18, walk radio. Can't stop me. Can't stop me, boy. Can't stop me. All you love me. All you love me. Kenny, you see, I can't take out my pants in the studio. I can't take out my shot in the studio. I'm playing a party singer. You want me to pass your part. You make me pass so far. Or you make me come here for. You tell me no shot pass. You tell me no slip pass. I inside now you dance. Or you make me 